You are welcome to this channel. I'm Dr. Lukman Olushesi, the school doctor. In today's video, we are going to answer a common question from young people. Does the traditional method of contraception work? It is not a secret that young people are highly sexually active. And it is peculiar to also know that young people want to have sex, they don't want to take pills, or use any other conventional or modern form of contraception, and they also do not want to get pregnant. So, in this video, we are going to look at the traditional method of contraception, the natural method of contraception. Welcome back. Do you know that every month, the uterus plans to carry a baby. And if at the end of the month, there is no baby to carry, the uterus shed the tears of blood that we call menstrual flow. Between when a young person begins to menstruate, that we call menarche, and the year the menstruation stops altogether at menopause, every month, the uterus plans to carry a baby. What then is menstrual cycle? Menstrual cycle is the period between this menstruation and the next menstruation. The first day you see blood, that is the first day of your menstrual cycle. The duration of menstrual cycle varies from woman to woman. It could be as short as 21 days, or as long as 35 to 40 days. If it is shorter than 21 days, it may need to be investigated. If it is longer than 40 days, it may need to be investigated. However, the average duration of a cycle is 28 days, where it could be, as, it could be shorter, it could be longer. Without wasting much time, Go and grab your calendar. Let's do some practical work. Now, we are going to make an assumption here. We are going to assume that we are dealing with a woman with a 30-day menstrual cycle. All right? So let us assume that this woman starts her menses on the 2nd of May. All right? So we count. Remember, the day you see blood is the first day of your menstrual cycle, all right? And in order to know the duration of your own menstrual cycle, you start counting from the first day you see blood to the next time when your menses come. So the first day of that next time is the end of the menstrual cycle. So if the menstrual cycle of this woman is 30 days, and she starts her mens menses on, this, on the 2nd of May. All right? So it means we start counting from the 2nd. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So... She sees her next menses on the 31st of May. Some people would come and complain that, ah, doctor, I think there's a problem. I, am, I, I, I have seen my menses twice in the same month. I think there's a problem. You do not have any problem here. All right? So the duration of the menstrual cycle of this person is 30 days. Now, don't get confused here. Let us assume that the, the menstrual cycle of this woman begins on the 13th, on the 13th of the month, all right? Still assuming that it is a 30-day cycle. So, we, we can count, all right? This will constitute the day one, the first day. So, we count one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, that's 19, Sunday 31st. Then February 1st is Monday. 19, 20, all right? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So the next menstruation will start on the 11th of February. She started menstruating on the 13th of January. And the next menstrual flow begins on the 11th of February, meaning that the, menstrual, the duration of the menstrual cycle for this woman is 30 days. So what I want you to do and put in the comment section of this video is to go grab a calendar and determine the duration of your own menstrual cycle. Is it 21? Is it 23? Is it 26? Is it 28? Is it 30? Is it 32? Is it 34? Is it 36? Is it even 40? So you need to determine that and let me know in the comment section.